Hi everybody, my name is Nadia and I wanted to share um, recently in during the holiday seasons, the last week of December, first week of January, I went on a trip to the Middle East, the Arab, an Arab country there. And in the summer, I also went on a two-week trip to uh, one of the countries in the Maghreb nation um, to go and to share with people the good news. And I just wanted to share that with the church. I know some of you have been praying and some of you have been wondering where I am sometimes. Um, so the reason how this all started, uh, one of my friends, she invited me to go on a trip with her and I was like, oh, I don't know how I would feel about going all the way across the world with a group of people I don't know. But I was talking to another friend and she was sharing with me God's heart. Um, and what is God's heart? It's for all the nations to be blessed, to know the good news, the promise that God gave to Abraham he said, through your seed, all the nations will be blessed. And what is that seed? That's Jesus Christ. And when he, when all the nations come to know who he is, that's when they'll all be blessed. And so my friend was telling me, she said, what was Jesus' last commandment? As he was leaving earth, his most important words, his great commandment was, all, the, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go to all the nations, preaching and baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And when she said that, I was like, yes, that's, that's what Jesus told us to do, but I haven't been doing that. I haven't been sharing. And so when my friend continued to encourage me to go in the summer, I said, okay, I'll go, because Jesus has said to go. Um, she said, these are the nations, the unreached nation. Um, unreached nation groups are those that have less than 2% who are Christian and or they don't have a church that is um, continuing to share that gospel. And so when I went there, um, one of the verses as I was reading, preparing, uh, was in Romans. Paul said... <clears throat> In Romans, it says, chapter 10, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. And so putting those verses as well as Jesus' commandment to go, I realized we are sent to go. We are sent to go and tell people the good news. And so I went in the summer, and after I came back, I uh, went to vision school, which talks about uh, God's vision for the earth, what his desire and his heart is for all the nations to hear his word and to be saved. And when I went, I heard, <clears throat> I heard more about what he's already doing and what he's already done. So many people have the opportunity, like here in America, to hear God's word. You can, we have freedom, we can go to church, um, we can speak freely. In the other nations, you can, when we go, when we ask the people, have you heard this news, good news before? They'll say, no, you're the first Christian I've met. Um, sometimes they think what Christians are or what they see of Hollywood, um, that we're always drinking, dancing, just have, living a liberal life. And so we're like, no, that's not who we are. God has transformed us, has changed us. And we want to tell you that good news that he loves us. He loves us so much that he sent his only son to come and die, um, but he overcame death, and now we have freedom and true hope and true life in him. And so I went um, and shared this, and um, my whole mindset was changed. As I was going, my mom asked me, and she said, well, why do you have to go there? Why can't you speak here? Why can't you tell people here? And I said, do we? I, I know I didn't share the good news with people here. And it, it took me going halfway across the world to, and then taking vision school to understand that I can do this here too. I can tell others here, um, and so can all of you. So I started sharing with my coworkers. I started sharing with uh, other believers in the church about the gospel. We all need to be reminded of that every single day. That good news is for all to hear. And... Um, I didn't want to before because it was like a little uncomfortable, like awkward talking to people, like what's going to happen when you die? 
And I realized that some people don't know. Some people don't know that there is hope, or if they do, they have not made the decision. And I learned that even if I did sometimes share, I wouldn't go that final step and ask people, um, so what are you going to do now that you know the truth? Are you going to make that choice to believe in him, or are you continue to reject him and then not, be, not know who Jesus truly is and have eternal life? And so when I realized that um, it's not about how I feel, it's not about um, if I feel uncomfortable or I don't want to share the good news or share, tell people about Jesus, it's about I gave my life over to him. As uh, Pastor Vadim said today, Jesus, you're my Lord, you're my master, and you have told me to go and tell people, why can't I do that? And so I want to encourage all of you guys to continue to uh, give your lives over to Christ. Go tell others, be it in other nations, be it here. Um, even here on Saturdays, we have Parasolka. You guys can start right here in your church. You don't even need to go far to go tell people the good news. Um, you can tell at work, at school. I started talking to my coworkers as well. Um, after coming on these programs, they were like, why are you going? It's not safe. Are you gonna be okay there? And so I started sharing. It said, I said, it's not about me. It's about what Jesus has told us to go and do. So during these trips, there are people, the country I just went to has 90 million Muslims. And some of them are seeking the truth. They're dis disillusioned. They know that um, the religion they're living in right now is hopeless. There's no way out. There's no way to fulfill all the rules. There's no way um, to be a good person. And at the end of their lives, they understand that their good deeds are not going to outweigh their bad deeds. So they're looking for hope. They're looking, they're asking questions. But who can they ask? There's no one to ask. And so when we come, we share the good news with them and we say, there is hope. Here is that hope of, to all the nations. It's Jesus. And um, yeah. So I just wanted to come and share that with you guys to encourage you guys to go preach, to go uh, learn more, to give your hearts over to Christ, to not think of yourselves more. Um, than what Jesus has commanded us to do. He said he wants all people to be saved. And so for that reason, we come and we, we listen. We are his slaves. We obey him with all our hearts. And um, so if you want to hear more about my stories or anything else, uh, feel free to come up to me or how God even continue to work in my life. I want to hear your stories too. So may you be blessed and thank you.